How do we download the workshop tools for CS2 to create skins, maps, etc.? Well, assuming you already have CS2 in your Steam library, all you need to do is right click it, choose properties, and on the DLC tab here, simply make sure that workshop tools is ticked. Then after a 670 ish megabyte download, your CS2 workshop tools will be downloaded and set up. Simply wait for this to finish. And once it's done, there we go. Now we can select CS2, play, and in this option screen here, you'll find Counter-Strike 2 Workshop Tools. You can hit play him and it should open up the CS2 Workshop Tools here. We can launch Workshop Item Tools, hit the settings to do things in the future, I assume. And of course, this will be more fleshed out as time goes on, but this is all that we have access to for now. There we go. You can see we're on the main menu and pulling across here, we have the Workshop Item Editor. Cool. We can select examples, inspect them, and in the CS2 client running in the background, you should see what they'll look like there. There we go. You can see a custom weapon skin here. Pretty cool. When you close the workshop editor, the window for CS2 stays open and I don't think you can play. Yeah, no, you definitely can't. So closing that completely, you'll be able to fire back up into the normal CS2 client. Now, if you don't get the option to choose the workshop tools, right click CS2, hit properties and on the general tab, scrolling all the way down to the bottom, you'll find launch options. From the drop down here, you can choose whether to start one of these by default or preferably ask when starting game so that that way you get the prompt to find out exactly what you want to do. You can hop into the official game, the workshop tools, etc. If you choose always use this option, do note you'll need to go into that property section in order to customize what fires up by default. If you'd like to remove it, simply untick workshop tools on the DLC tab and it'll be removed from your installation after a quote unquote update. It's really just deleting files. Anyways, thank you all for watching. My name's been Troubleshoot and I'll see you all next time. Ciao.